Hi everyone, it's Miss Sims here. Today we are going to work on a surrealism project that is going to be really fun and help us get our creative minds going. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we get too far into the project, I want to talk a little bit about what surrealism is. Surrealism got really popular with a artist from Spain named Salvador Dali, and he created lots of surrealist artwork. This one, which is probably his most famous, is called The Persistence of Memory. Now, surrealism shows things that are real in a unique way or in a way that normally doesn't happen. So, right, like water and mountains are real, trees are real, clocks are real, but do clocks melt off of things? Not really. Basically, surrealism is artwork that takes things that are real, rational things, and then it puts them in a way that doesn't make sense. It's illogical. So, clocks melting off of a tree, that doesn't really make sense, but all of the parts about it are real. That's what we're going to work on today. We're going to use our creativity to come up with our own surrealist picture. So as usual, we have two goals for the day. The first goal is to describe surrealism in your own words. So you should be able to tell a family member what surrealist art is and what makes it different than regular art. Now that we have an idea of what surrealism is, we are going to use that knowledge, apply the knowledge to create a picture where some of the parts of the image in your picture don't really make sense. And I'll show you how to do that as we go. For this, you're going to need a paper, pencil, and eraser. This project will take two days, so we won't finish it today. Today, we're going to work on an outline for this hand surrealism. Once you have your materials out, we are going to start with actually tracing our hand. Do you want your hand to be somewhere in the middle of your paper while it's vertical? You can't see my whole page when it's vertical, but notice I have a little bit of my wrist down here at the bottom, and I'm just going to lightly go around and trace my hand. If you're like me and you wear a watch or a bracelet or anything, you can trace around that or you can take it off, but make sure that you're just doing exactly what is there. So if you did have a bracelet, a watch, or anything on your wrist, now is the time that you're going to add in those details. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and right where the bottom of my watch ends. I'm kind of looking at my hand at the same time to see what my watch and bracelet look like. I'm just going to add in lightly. You don't need to do this very dark, but I'm gonna add in those details so I know why those bumps are there and I don't forget later. By adding in these details, we are doing realism. So we are first just making the real parts before we add anything that doesn't really make sense, which would make it surrealism. So right now, everything is real. Now that we've added those hand details in, we are going to make each finger something different. So this is going to be the surrealism part. You can erase any parts of the finger that are particularly dark if you accidentally did something a little bit too dark, so that way those don't show through when you do your details. And then you think of something, it can be a theme, like maybe you do everything sports themed or whatever you'd like. I'm just going to do some random things to show you. So basically I am turning this finger into a tree. You can see the branches that I'm creating and I'm adding some little details in there. I'm gonna add the base of my finger is going to be the bark and I'm going to erase the rounded part of my finger because the tree has a pointy tip instead of a rounded tip. So basically, you're using the same general shape. You can still see that it's kind of long. It's still about the same amount from side to side, but it doesn't look like a finger anymore. It looks like a tree. I'm going to do that with all five fingers, come up with something different for everything. Instead of an object, you can also do a texture or a pattern as well, like this is kind of some fish scales that I'm doing across it. So it's your choice as long as you make each thing different and it doesn't matter if it's part of a theme or all random, it's up to you. It's your surrealism and you get to let your creativity run wild. Pause this video here until you have all of your fingers done. The last thing you are going to do is add any extra real details that you see on your hand. So I noticed that I kind of have these lines and bumps where my knuckles are. I also have a little freckle on my hand, um, so you're going to go ahead and add all of those things in super lightly because we're going to add them in more detail next time. We just want to remember the general shape of where some of these extra things are. This will help add the real part to the surrealism, right? Because we need to have something that's very real. Once you've added all of your wrinkles, all those extra details that your hand might have, you are done. So that is it for today. We will finish the rest of this project next time in art. Make sure you keep what you have so far in a safe space and I will see you next time.